चलो ग्रीटिंग्स फॉर द डे डियर चिल्ड्रन हियर वी गो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रेफर टू द लास्ट चैप्टर एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस चैप्टर इन आवर ऑफलाइन क्लासरूम वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल लॉट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर्स वी हैव डन इट इन द क्लास एंड द डेटा वी टुक फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स इटसेल्फ लाइक फ्रॉम योर क्लासरूम इटसेल्फ सो हियर आई हैव गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ डीआईवाई लाइक डू इट योरसेल्फ टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस फॉर योर एक्स्ट्रा प्रैक्टिस ओके so the time you spend in front of a tv or radio uh if it is 1 hour every day then in a week it is going to be 1 into 7 7 hours then you in a month how much time will you spend if one day you are spending one day then for a month you are going to spend 30 hours now this is again do it yourself this we had taken the data in the classroom and we had done it okay yes if you remember and uh, this is again a practice if you want you can do it amongst your friends a lot of uh, in your family members a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, people have different type of choices uh, maybe someone like news someone like to watch sports someone like to watch cartoons and someone like to watch daily soaps so uh, of course uh, you can take this data in your family and you can note it down after reading this poem okay you were uh, asked to read this poem who was my friend and yes after reading this poem you gave the answer is shadow what is the answer shadow so over here we have to count all the uh, words and alphabets theek okay? hai so over here see a uh, teacher also explained it to you that whenever we talk about the alphabet i alphabet i if you take the word ice cream the first alphabet will be i but if we talk about pronouns like he she me um i okay i am a girl i like to read books so over here i is a word so if in the poem after counting we got the word i is most often used and the uh, another tip teacher gave you that whenever you have to find which alphabet or which letter is being repeated so it is always and always it must be a vowel somewhere from a e i o u so after using that trick you came to the conclusion that the letter e is used most and the letter b and v comes the least now this is again a do it yourself you have to take a paragraph from your any of the textbook and you have to note it first foods we eat dear children if you remember when we did this um in both the division rice was uh, the food item which was used uh, by maximum number of uh, or which you can say which was the most eaten um, food item by the maximum number of students um over here uh, in the previous slide if we uh, go just a minute yeah uh, see in the previous slide see uh, these uh, five children are discussing some you know uh, what food they eat so rice wheat maize barley and ragi uh, once we write it rice wheat uh, barley ragi maize uh and then we took the survey among you all 40 children so who like to eat what and uh, from that we came to the conclusion you can try this among your friends among your family members people in your bus or you know people in your uh, building or where you are going out to play following of course the social uh, distancing uh you can find it out and you can practice this as a second practice because one practice we have already done in the class preparing for the class drama if you remember we had played an activity over here um why because this triangle was showing three children this triangle represented three children so if you remember we have uh, played uh, this uh, skit in the class where a lot of children came for acting collecting dresses playing music and making the sets so when we uh, come to this conclusion can we say if one triangle is 3 three, three triangles will represent nine children if i say two triangles are uh, collecting dresses it actually means 3 multiplied by 2 that is six children are collecting dresses let's talk about playing music 1 2 3 4 
3 times 4 is 12. So 12 children are playing music and again 6 children are making the set. How many children are acting in the drama? So 9 children are acting in the drama. Which are more? Children making the sets or those who are acting? So see from this triangle also we can figure out but if we want to know the actual uh, like number. So making the set is 6. Acting is 9. So it is obvious that 9 is more. So acting, a lot of children are into acting instead of making the set. What is being done by most number of children? So playing the music. How many children are collecting dresses? So six children are collecting dresses. Now this is a do-it-yourself activity. Teacher also showed you with the help of chart paper. Uh, you have to make a strip, uh, wrap it around your head and then cut it. Of course, be careful when you are using the scissor or teacher also showed you to just fold the paper and cut it with the help of a scale or ruler. So you can be safe from scissors. Uh, just do that and you have to check in your family members and then you have to come to the conclusion with the measurement that who has the big, bigger uh, forehead or the head in centimeters of course and the smallest head of course. Uh, chapati chart. Chapati chart is nothing but that we have already studied in notebook notes like a pie chart. Uh, over here some children uh, have taken part in different clubs. Okay the three different uh, clubs are games club, garden club and drawing club. From this chapati chart also we can say that games club has half children so of the entire club. Garden club has quarter and drawing club has quarter. So see. How we are supposed to find one fourth and half? Dear children, it is total we have to first find out if there are 200 children. Okay? If there are 200 children. To do half, we divide by 2. So, if we do half, 200 divided by 2 is 100. So, games club has 100. See, half the children take part in games club. One fourth, yani quarter is in garden club and quarter um is in drawing club so if we have to find quarter which we have studied in previous chapters dear children ya to half ka half karo theek hai yani 100 ka half karo 50 ya to 200 ko directly divide karo 4 se so if you do this you get the answer 50 so can i say 1 fourth ya quarter yani kitne bache hai 50 bache hai out of the total 200 Now next, uh, let us come to this, getting wet in the rain. Just a minute. Yeah, this is done. Getting wet in the rain. So, see, dear, dear children, you know, uh, teacher taught you that when you are studying about the statistical data in higher classes for your PhD, for your other research work, it is going to be very useful. Um, see, dear, dear children, now you all are very small. So, that is why you all have extra situation or conditions. We all like to get wet in the rain when we have nothing else to do. But what if we have our smartphone in hand? What if we have to go for a wedding? What if we have to attend some function? What if we have to read school? At that time, do we like to get wet? No, absolutely not. So dear children, of course when you will grow up, uh, you are going to have certain conditions, certain other characteristics on why you like to get wet in the rain, why you don't like to get wet in the rain, on what conditions, on what basis and things like that. So just uh, this is a basic pie chart given to you. In the chapati chart, just observe and tell. Dear children, this blue part is nothing but quarter. Okay? That is one fourth. And this uh, grey part is nothing but 3 fourths. So how many children like to get wet in the rain? So how many children like to get wet in the rain is 3 fourths. And how many children do not like to get wet in the rain is a quarter or you can say 1 fourth. Now if the number of children in the class is 28, tell the number of children who like to get wet in the rain. So this is nothing but you have to find quarter and 3 fourths. So let us find quarter first. In case we have to find the quarter first, what we will do? 28 divided by 4. So if we do 28 divided by 4, what answer do we get? 7. So this is nothing but quarter. Quarter do not like to get wet in the rain. 
So, अगर seven students out of twenty eight do not like to get wet in the rain, how many children like to get wet in the rain? That is twenty one. So, this twenty one is nothing but three four. So, like this, you can do this calculations orally as well. Now, this is the last part of this beautiful, easiest chapter: tea, coffee, or milk. Um, to my surprise, a lot of children were uh. were very happy to uh, get this done immediately dear children total number of students who uh, who survey was taken so it is 40 20 children like milk 10 children like coffee and 10 children like tea so there are 40 students uh, or 40 number of children children who like milk so see 40 ka half dekho kitna hota hai 20 so can i say 1 upon 2 half of the total children children who like coffee 10 okay so 10 is nothing but quarter that is 1/4 and tea is also the same now if we have to make the chapati chart we can do it like this in the notebook work of course we had drawn such patterns we had drawn uh, some circles and dots so in case colors are not available we can draw it in such patterns as well so dear children this was about this ch uh, chapter it's time for revision it's time for beautiful revision and it was wonderful wonderful teaching mathematics to you all dear children so stay excited stay inquisitive and always keep loving mathematics so goodbye dear children